Okay, so before we get today's video started, one thing I wanted to point out is if you look over there, you see that hook over there and right below that hook, those line, that those two, right now you can see the red shiny objects. I never noticed those before, so I guess there's maybe a sock or something down there, so we'll explore that today later. But anyways, for now though, what's up, Ant City, and welcome back to some more Spongebob Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. In the last one, we started going through Sand Mountain, and we learned that it's actually not as long of an area as I thought it was going to be. Because if we checked our progress right now, we've already got most of the socks, and... We're only missing four golden spatulas, which one more we should get pretty easily. I don't know where the other three are, though. But, yeah, we also got all those sandmen. It's pretty easy. Now we're just missing three socks. So, like, honestly, yeah, this area was not that bad. I thought it was going to take us way longer, but we might be able to honestly finish it this episode. Because all of these little doors we have to go through. Let's unlock this one, by the way. All of these doors are just, like, time challenges. So it's pretty simple. So, but, yeah. I'm the fastest there is! My time down this slope is unbeatable! I'll give you a golden spatula if you can beat my time. Alright, let's not take it quite yet, because again, yeah, like I like to explore so that. And all those heads, those good goblin things. Um, yeah, not, not too much up here for us though, so let's go ahead and just head down the I'm slope. The fastest there yeah, yeah, you're the fastest there is, we get it. So let's go, 120 seconds. So this time we're just gonna go for speed. What is this? Bounces us up there. I don't know if that's gonna help us, anymore, but yeah, let's just try to beat that time. That's really the most fun. Oh, that leads to a sock. Give me, give me the sock. Okay, got it. Woo! Yeah, we want to just try to beat his time. We might be cutting it close. This one seems like you gotta be pretty precise. For it. Which is quite just begs the question: How did Larry, the lob? I mean, he is kind of livid, like Larry. Like he is a little bit built different. So that's probably how he did it. Whoa! Okay. Guess we'll go back up there later. Yeah, luckily there's nothing that we need to collect, like the Sandmen here. Because that was just annoying and tedious. Here it's just speed, and then there might be a few socks laying around. But yeah, let's go through this tunnel. Look at but yeah, all, this is how all the areas are in this place. They're just time trials. So, pretty simple stuff. Like, nothing too difficult. But yeah, ow, I got hurt. Yeah, it's not it's nothing like way too difficult. It's pretty simple. You just gotta be fast and then sometimes it's collectibles. Look at these things destroying the parts of the map. Look at this. They make an extra big jump because of you. Taking off chunks now? It's it's fine to build it, so it doesn't even matter. Look at that, we just get that whole chunk anyway. Okay, hopefully we can beat this time in our first try and then we'll go back down for socks and like other pads. Because there's usually hidden stuff on like alternate pads you can go on this. Uh, ooh, big jumps here. Big jumps, big jumps. Where's the end? Must be coming up on the end soon, right? Hopefully. We need to. <laughs> Win. I don't think we're gonna beat the top. Oh, it's right over there. I see it. I don't think we beat it, though. Yeah, we were off just by like a few seconds. Oh, let's just die. Okay, but that is actually very doable, so let's try it again. And the reason I die is because I can actually heal up the damage easier. Oh, wow. Oh. Alright, let's go. Okay. SpongeBob hyping himself up. He's like, I know I'm going to win. He said, go SpongeBob, go SpongeBob. You'll win. Like, yeah, you will. Win. Gotta have that confidence. Ooh. We could have just skipped like, a whole section, which I just did. Could have done it earlier though, because there's like a little piece of it sticking out that we could have used for our thing. Let's probably grab the side of that to, to like jump up. We, we hit like the edge like that, and then we jumped up. Alright, let's see if we can hit this thing now. Not just me up here. What's the button? Do? Oh my god, we murdered. <laughs> we just killed two people. Okay. Also, I noticed that there's some things we can like swing on as Sandy, so we might need to go back through this as Sandy. Yeah, there's like a thing we can swing on. So maybe after the time challenge we can do that. But look at this thing just decimating. For us. That opened up. That opened up. Ah. Ooh, look at this. this secret little short cut area. We're gonna go down the hallway in case there's a sock. Yeah, like exactly. See? I knew it. 
Yeah, I'm glad we went up there, because that opened up this whole path for us, which should save us some time. Hopefully. Are those? That was a really nice shirt, though. and we got a sock out of it. But, now that we have the sock, we can actually just uh, cheese our way down now. We can just jump down next time to save... If we don't beat the time challenge right now, that is. And we can just use that to our advantage. Let's go down. I think we might actually be fine, though. We're pretty close to where it ends up. Yeah, we got 30 seconds. I think we're pretty close. Yeah, we, we're pretty close. It's like right over there, I think. So we should be okay, hopefully. Let's just see how this goes. Oh, whoa. There we go. Who body all those? Let's go. And if we go down here, the end is in sight. Let's just jump across. Ooh. Yep, we beat the time. Perfect. And then we could get another golden... Oh, okay, cool. It's respawned me up here. This is what I wanted. Because I want to kill these robots. Because we get a th our third spatula from Squidward. Right? Yeah. yeah. It's kind of cool. We don't actually have to even go talk to Squidward. Yet. We just got to kill the robots. And then a thing will roll down like this. Okay, that one just dropped from heaven. It hit the camera. Look at that. You murdered the cameraman, bro. Not the cameraman. We need to that up. There we go. So yeah, just hitting those buttons spawns up this golden spatula, and then we get an extra one from Larry. So I think that means we have like, what, two left after this? So that's actually really good. Actually no, there's actually only one left, because I know where one of them is. We have to just be sandy and swing. So yeah, we only have one spatula left, and then how many socks have we gotten? We're only missing one sock too, so that's actually really good. And I think that sock, I might actually know where that is too, because I saw that bungee jumping at the beginning of the episode. So yeah, let's talk to Larry. Congratulations, SpongeBob! You beat my best time. Here's a spatula. Why do you say that? He said you beat my best time, bro. <laughs> okay, like shit. This man was probably flexing his muscles while saying that. He's like, "Good job, you beat my best time." All right, we're gonna go down it one more time, just in case, like I missed any. But uh, yeah, it's funny you can just walk around the music changes. Okay, we're just gonna head down it one last time. For the one time, you know. Just because I want to make sure I haven't missed anything. But I think I know. Because I don't know where the very last golden spatula is. But I think I know where the last sock is at. So, yeah. So I just want to head down this path. There was a thing I could swing on as Sandy that I noticed earlier. That could also be a thing. Yeah, that right there. I don't know what that's for. We can, oh, yeah, look. Oh, it's, it leads to this sock up here. Okay, let's go switch to Sandy. Because we're going to need that. Cause yeah, that's the, I think that's the last sock too. Yeah, so then that maybe that bungee jump thing leads to a spatula, and then that's everything. That would be cool. So yeah, yeah. Let's switch out over to Sandy now, cause we do need her swing. I don't know how you're supposed to stop yourself to be able to swing though. But what if I talk to her? Hey, her? Sandy. Howdy, Larry. Oh, they just say hi to each other. Dad. They're just homies, you know. Oh, I'm already. Okay, we'll we'll try that again. Bounce, there we go. Yeah, I don't know how you're supposed to stop yourself to be able to swing. Can you swing while you're like sliding? But I have to assume so. They want me to do it. Unless there's some way to stop yourself. Bam! Bam. My best time! Anyway. Oh, you can swing, okay. So we don't we don't actually need to hit the button because I think the sock will just spawn over there. Let's turn around first of all. I like how it's still playing the music, even though I'm not even sliding. Anymore. There we go. Let's flow over this part. And then, yeah, that's the last sock. So we actually managed to get everything here. I was expecting to have a lot more trouble. Look at that. Last sock inbound. We actually don't even need to complete the slide now. Look at that, and we last. Okay, let's check. That's, yep, every sock, and we're just missing two spatulas now, so... Let's go ahead and... I don't think we need to even finish the slide again, so let's just jump off. Let's go! Okay, bet. So now, let's... Walk back out? Alright, yep, we back out here, and we can actually, right away, swing on this. Because, yeah, there's a golden spatula. You see, like, right up there, there's a spatula. But I think we gotta, like, swing around to get enough height for it. Which is why that one's over there. So, yeah, we're gonna do that. Let's 
jump. Lasso. Jump again. Lasso. And so now, yeah, this should be plenty of height. So prepare for takeoff in three, two, one. Leaving the atmosphere. Yeet! All right, yeah, we made it. And then, yeah, there's that down there. I just don't know what that leads to. Pick up dispatcher. And then now we're missing one, but I don't know where it is. Maybe we gotta talk to Squidward. Oh no, it's right down there. I was right. So yeah, we got everything in this area already. Okay, so uh, we need to head back into one of these real quick to switch. We actually, I think we can do it out here. Yeah, there's a bus stop right there. Okay. <laughs> I always miss bus like obvious bus stops. I don't know why, but I always manage to miss them. But yeah. After this, though, we're completely done with Sand Mountain, which I'm actually very surprised about. I did not expect to get done with it this quickly. Honestly, this area is really fun, though. There was just, like, a bunch of, like, slides and time challenges. It was really, really fun, though. I really... I enjoyed it. Hold up. Let me get up there, though. Um... Oh, I think we just walked this way. Yeah, because the thing's way up there. Oh, I know there's a clam we gotta pay for. So yeah, up there. How do we get there? Oh, I see. I get it. We go this way. <laughs> okay. But yeah, we finished this area pretty quick, but it was really fun. Like, honestly, after Rock Bottom, this could, this is like a potential rival for being one of my favorite areas. Oh, my most oh. favorite friend in the whole world. I found another golden spatula for you. Oh, boy. Can I have it? Sure, if you fall down to the bottom of this pit. Isn't there a safer way? It's always safety with you people. Hmm. I suppose you could bungee down. Yeah, I'll pay. Let's open that up and bungee down. I want this last batch. But yeah, see, this area I like a lot because, um... Shines. Like, there was a lot to collect. Like, basically, although this area wasn't that long, there was a lot to collect, and basically, you could make a lot of progress really quick. Because, look, there were 10 socks, and then, obviously, all the spatulas. But just those 10 socks with all these spatulas, it's, like, a lot of progress in a very short amount of time. That's why I liked this area. Like, it was quick, to the point, wasn't too confusing. I liked it. So, yeah, the Marmalade was pretty fun, too. Uh, Rock Bottom, like, again, was probably one of my favorite areas so far. Although it did take me a while, I died a lot, but I do really like that area. So, yeah, I don't know. These two areas right here, though, Marmalade, or Rock Bottom and Sand Mountain, let's, like I did for um, Rock Bottom, let's give them a round of applause. Clap it up for them, because they... They did their thing with this area. Same thing with Mermelayer too, though. It was pretty good because they had a boss fight and everything too. So yeah, they've been doing. They've been going off with these areas though. But yeah, we're all done now with this area. We got every spatula. And like I said, it honestly. Went, oh, I completely skipped over what he said. Let's talk Keep again. up the good work, buddy of mine, and don't forget to help me out with the chum bucket. Okay, yeah, we're not helping you with the chum bucket, bro. I think he already said he would. Let's talk to Squidward before you leave, though. Then we'll open up the next area. Oh, thank Neptune! You did it! Now I can go get my equipment and ski in peace. Actually, I think that Patrick borrowed your equipment. What? Who said he could do that? I did. I figured if you didn't know, you wouldn't mind. Again. Wouldn't mind? Of course I mind! It's only the most expensive skiing equipment you can buy! And what does Patrick want with that stuff anyway? He doesn't even know how to ski. I'll cut off your nutsack! I want the worm now! He wants the worm? What? Where is he? He's just standing on top of a mountain anyways. Uh, yep, let's head out now though. And... Yeah! Open the next air. All right, we back outside. And yeah, like I said, I'm surprised Sand Mountain went by that fast. But it was honestly fun. It was... It felt like what it was meant to be, like, you know, it's a ski lodge and stuff, so they had you just do a bunch of slides. That's really good design. Like, I like it. Uh, the only part about that I didn't really like was those sand men, because, I mean, they weren't that hard to get. It's just, you had to go down multiple times, and if you died, then you basically were screwed and had to redo it all. So, yeah, let's go ahead and open up the very next area now, because we have plenty of spatulas for that. Let's see, 51, we only need 40. So, yeah, let's open up the industrial. Oh, wait a minute, Trout. Look, we're finally going to this place. So, okay, so every time we open an area, we got a boss fight. So this is the last area. Because, yeah, when we opened up the place to the Mermelayer, we had to go fight in the Poseidon. So this time, we got to go fight in the industrial park. Okay, I get it. So let's go ahead and just go. This day 
day just doesn't seem to be getting any better. SpongeBob, hurry! Squidward's in more trouble than a chili relleno in a pan of grease. We have to help! You're right, Sandy. But if that robot really is like Patrick, he'll eat us for dessert. What should we do? Well, we better figure something out, and pronto. Maybe that button on his back is a self-destruct. I'll try to hit it. Good idea, SpongeBob. But it's time to stop yapping and get to it. Yes, yeah, we gotta Looks fight. Like oh, SpongeBob commentary? I'll let him think of it. Oh, okay. So... He's just gonna come in and talk to him. Look how many hits this thing made. Yo, there's really, they really have a giant patch. Look at that. The robot made himself Got him. dizzy. Okay, yeah. So we just gotta wait for him to spin around. Hey, what's the ice cream on me so hard? Bro. Do -si -do and around you go. Bro, the, the commentary's hilarious. So yeah, I'm just gonna... I don't think this boss is pretty easy. <laughs> Hit him again, down. then he's run. Now the robot's but yeah, taking a beating it should be pretty there. easy. But I mean, there's gonna be other phases, obviously. Look at that picture in the bottom. Is that supposed right, to be a reference to reef. that one picture of Patrick like passed out on the ground with the ice cream? I think that's what it is. Yeah, even the ice cream's even yellow in the picture. Even though he's got Ooh, green ice cream. Yeah. Down. Work. <laughs> oh. I got frozen. You push this squirrel too far. Get ready for a hot fudge twister, Texas style. What is Sandy going to do to get SpongeBob unfrozen? Great Barrier Reef. I, don't know. I think it's just the same thing as what we're doing with SpongeBob. But SpongeBob, why did SpongeBob stretch his arms out like that? Like bro. Oh, and the robot yeah. is down. And the robot is down. Oh, he's like this gong gong. Uh, he thinks he's Link Kong or something. Oh, we got a swing. Okay. That hot so goo could melt anything! Look at that hang time! Look at that hang time! They said that hot goo could melt. Am I reef. supposed to get poison? Oh, it's rising, it's rising, it's rising. gotta go. Oh no! Oh, and the robot is down! Oh, the robot? What am I supposed to do that? How am I gonna hit him? How do you expect me to do this? How am I supposed to hit him? What did you want me to do? There was nothing else. Great Barrier Reef! Right, swing. Right, swing. Oh, and the robot is down! He's down, okay. Look at that hang time! Down. That's the ticket! There we go, let's go. One more He's gonna dose raise. with that stuff, and SpongeBob will be back in the ring! Oh, yeah, see, SpongeBob's gonna. Look at gonna that run. hang time! Back. Bro, this this fish doing the commentary. Right, let's Look keep at him that here. hang time! Oh, right. oh, and the robot is oh, down. Let me land, please. Thank you. Okay, get there, get there, kick him! Hit him! Hit him! Hit him! There we go. It's time to roll out some robot punishment. That does it. SpongeBob, okay, SpongeBob. is back in the fight. Oh, he's trying to do that icy breath. That icy hot light. Do -si -do and around you go. Oh, 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 like a new Ooh, no. Great barrier reef. Bro, who, why is there just a Patrick robot? Though? Like, why, why did they make? The little, the, all these robots. I see a prime rolling moment oh. right here. That's There's cool. nothing right. like the smell of bubbles in the morning. It smells like. Oh, I see hot meat light up in my. We're gonna. Do -si do and around you go. We're just gonna. Yeah, this this boss fight's not too hard. It's fun though. I do I do like this boss, but it's it's not like. Shoot these missiles. At. And around you go. I don't have any more ways to heal now. It's tough. I see a prime rolling moment yeah. right here. Got him. Nice seven One more ten hit. split by SpongeBob. Seven ten. Oh, whoa. Great barrier reef. 
chill out right here, then we're gonna head to the back. Okay. I see a prime bowling moment right ooh, here. Ooh, it's time. We gotta finish it up. Get him! Goodbye, body. Hey, why did it scream? Ooh! And it blew up. I never thought I'd say this, SpongeBob, but I owe you big time. Thanks, Sandy. We'd still be popsicles if it wasn't for her. Aw, shucks. You fellers are gonna make me blush. I think I have fudge in my pants. Where are, I'm not even gonna ask, bro. That's definitely not fun. There was no fudge in here, bro. He did not have fudge on that ice cream. That was definitely pistachio, but okay. I'm sorry, Plankton. The Chum Bucket Lab is locked up tight. I don't know if I'll ever get enough golden spatulas to get in. Yes, it's the Chum Bucket Security System. I designed it myself. It makes me so proud. It was meant to keep out the hateful throngs of the unwashed. Unfortunately, I never figured I'd be on this side of it. So what are you gonna do, Plankton? We, of course, meaning you, we're gonna have to go out there and get those golden spatulas! Or I'll never get back into the chum bucket and regain control of my robots. What was that? Oh, uh, <clears throat> I said, will I ever get back into the chum bucket to stain all my pots? Yes. Hmm, something's fishy here. That's a bit sussy. Like, how's the not real? Like, look at that, that's body plank. <laughs> look at him, bro. I just feel bad. He just gets knocked over. It's like, yeah, whatever. He's used to it. Anyways, let's explore around here real quick, though. So, Fresh, like a spring break. all those guys up. Yep. Because there's, pro there's probably stuff we can collect. Like on the Krusty Krab sign, there is a an underwear upgrade. Bubble buddy, I bet the next move you teach me will be the best one ever. Absolutely, SpongeBob. Super pinky shake on it. I would if I had pinkies. Here, I'll blow you some. Yeah, maybe later. Now, pay attention, SpongeBob. This bubble's a doozy. Paying my entire salary in attention. When you're not moving, press this button, and you'll blow a bubble that you can steer as it flies through the air. Wow. Aim carefully, though. You've only got a few seconds of flight time before the bubble pops. I'm a bubble blowing machine. Okay, what? So he said press this, and then... Oh, it's like a missile. What? This is cool. boom. Didn't do anything. That's cool though. We can. Th I didn't. I didn't know this was a thing. I've never seen this before. Okay, we can throw a missile. Oh, can we hit these buttons? I think we gotta hit those buttons with the, the missiles. That's cool. Okay. Hey, you see the buttons on the side? I think we gotta be like mission control launching into the atmosphere. We just. I don't know what this is gonna do. I don't know, how many spatulas do we need to get into the chum bucket? I'm gonna wait to get all until I get all of them, honestly, but yeah. But I will see what he's doing. In all these buttons. So, yeah. What are that? Oh, this right here. We can go up. Oh, there's a golden spatula up here. Let's go. Oh. Look at that. We can climb around on the fist. Okay, let's get this golden spatula. It's here. Let's go. So wait, so hold on. Okay, sorry, I'm back. I had to take a call. But um, yeah, so we got that golden spatula now. And yeah, we got this new ability. I don't know if this is the one we need for those other places. Like, there's some areas I couldn't do. Like, uh, yeah, there's some stuff I couldn't do. But I don't know if this is the power up I need for it. I guess we'll find out. But for now, though, we're going to try to also get this underwear up. Can I make the jump from here? I think I can. Yeah, I can. Wow, six Go. pairs of underwear. I am one unbeatable sponge. Yep, six I feel pairs like of a underwear. New sponge. So yeah, how do you? What do, we, what do we need to get in here? I can enter it, but I'm not gonna enter it yet because I think it's the last area. Keep looking for golden. Hey, you call them your robots? No, I. They're not. And I saw a plaque on the butt of one of the robots that said "Property of Plankton." Well, maybe. But I, uh... And I found this order form for robot parts with your signature on it. Can I have that back? I need it for my tax write-off. I think you've been pulling my leg this whole time. Well, duh! I'll bet you made all these robots. And after I get inside the chum bucket and figure out how to stop them, I'm gonna tell everyone. Fine, tell everyone. Be a big tattletale. I'm still smarter than all of you! Wow, SpongeBob finally figured it out. Bet. He figured out his plank this whole time. Let's just uh fire a nuke at Mr. Crabtree. Hello to my little bubble friend. 
Oh, yeah, see, now those robots are, that, like, nuke me, I can be like, Tactical Nuke! I can shoot it back at him. It just went through Mr. Krabs. Jeez, all right. Let's see, is that, he has anything new to say? What's wrong, Mr. Krabs? You don't look so good. You gotta help me, boy. The Krusty Krabs been overrun by a bunch of them hoodlum robots of yours. They've booted me out! And worse, they've got all me beautiful shiny objects! Defiling the Krusty Krab? Is there no end to their evil? What are we going to do, Mr. Krabs? We, meaning you, are going to clear the robots out, get me back me restaurant, and most importantly, rescue me money! Yeah, let's go into the Krusty Krab. Yeah, that seems like an extra area. And then after that, we'll head to the, the, the movie theater, and then probably end the episode off there, so... Attend to the Krusty Krab. I feel like I should be working. Wow, there's a lot of stuff in here. Let's go. Go. All right, we got a body. That guy's gone. Like a spring breeze. Let's do this. Big brain play right there. Look at that. He's gonna blow him up. What are these guys? Those are new. These laser guys. Get them. Come on, they must show up in like one of the other areas. I've definitely never seen that before. I might need a tactical nuke. That guy sleeping up there. Bro, why there's so many bodied? Yeah, I'm gonna try to. I think I got a tactical nuke with that guy up there, so. Huh. Got him. Let's go. Tactical nuke was the answer. Climb on these guys. Get up here. Hey, look at that. You can actually explore up here. So this is cool. Is there any, anything useful up here? Oh no. Oh yeah, look, they have this little perch that they've used in some episodes. That's, that's cool. uh, okay, blow him up. I wonder if we can head into the, like, the kitchen or anything. I feel like a new sponge. Uh, it doesn't look like it, but we can actually see that there is a modeled kitchen in there. The grill's in the wrong spot, though. Okay, let's body all these fish that are in here, though. You know, we have to. Condiment Island. Yeah, this is the bathroom. Let's body this. Look, is that... Is that a shake? He burned my shake! Bro, look at look at this mime out the window. What's he doing here? Why is there always someone looking in the window when I'm doing stuff? Like, bro, leave me alone. Bro, like, ghost. Why are you looking at, Like, if you're a mime, why are you looking inside doing your act? Like, shouldn't you be doing that to people on the street? Like, outside, not looking in? Like, looking outside for people? Or coming inside, getting hired or something? I don't know. Shouldn't you be doing something like that? Body all these people. Real quick. I want to body that mine most of all, though. Bro, what's he doing at the window? And this doesn't even make sense. You're supposed to, like, like, you can't have real glass in front of you looking like you're peeking into the glass. Like, you have real glass. That's not how this works, bro. I'm stupid. Like, he's not good at his job. He's probably excellent. But he's just, like, staring inside. Like, bro, go outside somewhere and do that. Anyways, I guess we're good, so let's go. Talk to Mr. Crab. Phew! You had me worried there for a bit, boy. Worried for me money, of course. Here, take this as your reward. Hey, another golden spatula. Let's go. Let's get let's get that. Alright, let's see. How many stuff Oh yeah, we're only missing one more golden spatula and bikini bottom. We're missing five socks. I feel like that last one might be something to do with the chum bucket. Or maybe the movie theater, actually, because we haven't gone in there yet. Uh, so yeah, we might get all of the spatulas there. So let's head into the movie theater, and then we're gonna end off the episode. What is this? Oh, there's a thing flying by. I didn't even realize. Right, is there any point hitting? I can just throw a new Get back here. Oh, got him. Uh, oh look, another one spawned. More. Is there a point to doing this? I don't know. The launch is gonna go. I spent about to miss control. That just gave me a lot of those, but was there a point in doing that, or is it just for that? I don't know. Um, well, let's go ahead and head into that movie theater, then. Oh, Spongebob's Dream. Oh, so that's what this area was about, right? Yeah. We might have to do that. I don't know. Should we do that next? I feel like we should do that right before Chumba. We should save this Spongebob's Dream. So we're going to do Kelp Forest, Flying Dutchman, and then we'll come back and do Spongebob's Dream. And then we'll head to Chumbuck. Yeah, I didn't realize this was its own area. I was wondering how we got to that. 
But for now, we're gonna head into the movie theater. I just wanna see what's here. Tickets. May I help you? 40,000 shiny objects to enter the theater. Okay. We're gonna have to grind for a shiny object at some point. I'm probably gonna look up some strategies on how to do that, because that's a lot to need. <laughs> so, uh, I guess we're just gonna end off the episode then, because that's too many shiny objects. Yeah, thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit that like button and that subscribe button if you're new or even if you're not new and you just want to be updated on when I upload, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. If you like this video that much, then make sure you share it around to your grandma, your grandpa, your grandparents, your manager, your coworker, wherever you want to share it to. And if you really, really like this video, you might consider going down and putting it into your favorite playlist. I'm going to end the episode off by trying to hit that bell up there. So, yeah. See, can I do it? Can I do it? Yeah, I was too far. All right. Well, that's it for this episode, though. So next time, we're going to head to the Kelp Forest because we don't have enough to go to Flying Dutchman yet. So, yeah, until next time, though, I'll see you guys later. And peace. Have a good day or night. You beat my best time.